Hey guys, this is Water for KL Gadget TV. I've been using the MSI CX62 for a couple of days now, and in this video, I'm going to tell you guys on three great and not so great things on MSI's entry level laptop. Back in our unboxing video, I totally disregard the CX62 as an entry level laptop, and I still stick to that point. My first favorite feature of the laptop will be its overall build quality. MSI hasn't compromised on the build quality of the device despite being an entry-level device. The nice aluminum chassis looks way better than many other plastic devices and it extends to the working area, which you'll definitely enjoy resting a palm on it. Next, a powerful Core i7 processor. MSI has packed the CX62 with an i7-5700HQ quad-core processor. Despite not being the latest Skydeck chip, this is still a very powerful processor that can be used to do some heavy tasks such as video rendering. In addition, the CX62 comes with a GeForce GT 940 discrete graphics which is sufficient enough to play mobile games and probably some modern games on medium graphics setting without turning on anti-aliasing. The full-size keyboard is also one of my favorite features on the CX62. It gives a solid typing experience and MSI has brought on the very same key layout from its gaming notebooks. The touchpad also works great and those buttons sure feels clicky. While there's more to love on MSI's entry-level notebook, it sadly doesn't come with a great display. Despite having acceptable viewing angles and screen brightness, colors seem to be washed out and having a low 1366 by 768 pixel resolution means you won't get to enjoy reading on the screen. The notebook speaker performance isn't great as well. Even though four speakers might sound like a big deal for its price range, I find audio playback quality to be too bright in vocals and back bass. It works fine in most cases, however you would want to attach external speakers for your music and movies. Last but not the least, the power adapter is really the not so great thing about the CX62 because it adds on a huge amount of weight into the bag and it is as huge as a gaming notebook's power brick, which doesn't make sense at all for a non-gaming notebook. We have more things about the CX62 that's yet to be covered, so stay tuned for the full review and subscribe for more videos from us and follow us on social media channels. My name is Warren and I'll see you in the next one.